So in this video, we need to find the shaded area that is trapped between the line y equals 22 take away 6x and the curve y equals x squared plus 6. OK, so the first thing that we need to do is to work out where those two graphs intersect. So we need these two values, otherwise we can't really progress. So we're going to put one equal to the other. So x squared plus 6 is equal to 22 take away 6x. Now I'm going to move everything onto the left hand side and we're going to get x squared plus 6x and then take away uh, 16 is going to be equal to 0. Now that's a quadratic that can factorise. So we're going to have x plus 8x take away 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 8, or x is equal to 2. And so these are the two points of where the graphs intersect. OK, so we've got that bit sorted. Now, in order to work out the shaded area, what I could do is I could work out the area of this trapezium, and then I could take away the area underneath the curve by integrating the y equals x squared plus 6 between minus 8 and 2. So that's what we'll do. We'll find the area of the trapezium and then take away the area underneath the curve. OK, so in order to find the area of the trapezium, I'm going to need to know the heights of these, right? So when x is 2, this point is 2, and then we've got 2 squared plus 6, so that would be 10. So that's 2, 10. And this point is minus 8, uh, squared, which is 64, plus 6 is 70. So minus 8, 70. OK, so the area is the area of the trapezium, which is going to be 1 half times by the width, which is minus 8 to 2, so 10, times by 70 plus 10. OK, so that's the area of the trapezium. Take away the area underneath the curve, so the integral of x squared plus 6 dx evaluated between minus 8 and 2. OK, so that should be my shaded area. So we have 0 0.5 times 10 times uh, 80, so 400. Then take away, so let's integrate, so we're going to have x cubed over 3, so add 1 to the power divided by the new power, plus 6x, evaluated between minus 8 and 2. So 400, take away, now open up a large bracket. So I'm going to take away two pieces here. So, um, we have, substitute in the 2, so we're going to get uh, 8 thirds uh, plus 12, and then substitute in the minus 8, so that's going to be minus uh, 512 over 3, and then take away 48. Okay, so we have 8 thirds plus 12, so that's 44 thirds there, and then we've got minus 512 over 3, take away 48, and then the minus sign there, so plus 656 over 3. So 400, take away 44 over 3, plus 656 over 3, and we get 500 over 3. And so that is the exact shaded area between the curve and the line.